Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching jQuery tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about the DOM and we'll write our first jQuery code. And guys, I'll put the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com. And the code that we are going to write in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the links in the video description, so please check that out. And guys, if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and please subscribe my channel. And don't forget to click on that bell icon so that you will get an update whenever I upload a new video. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, so we'll start with the DOM or document object model. The DOM is a programming interface for HTML and it represents the element of the page in a tree-like structure and provides methods that allows us to edit, fetch, add, and remove content from the page. So consider the following HTML code inside some sample HTML file. So we have the doc type HTML. We have the opening and closing HTML tag. We have the opening and closing head tag. And inside the head, we have the title tag. And then we have set the title to getting started. Then we have the body tag, opening and closing. And inside the body tag, we have the paragraph tag, which contains a text, hello world. So when this page will load, our browser will start constructing the DOM tree. So the first node the browser will add or create is the document. Then it will encounter this HTML element, that is this opening HTML tag. So under the document node, it will add the HTML node. Now inside the opening and closing HTML tag, our browser will see the next tag, which is the head tag. So in the DOM tree, under the HTML node, this one, our browser will create the head node. Now inside the head, we have the title tag. So our browser will add the title node under the head node. And inside this opening and closing title tag, we have the string getting started. So this text will get added under the title node. So we have the text getting started as a node connected to the title node. Then our browser will see the body tag. So body tag is directly connected with the HTML tag. So the browser will add a new node, body node under the HTML node. And then inside the body, our browser will see this paragraph tag. So under the body node, our browser will add the paragraph node. And then this paragraph has a text, hello world. So our browser will add a text node under the paragraph node. So this text node will contain hello world, which will be connected directly under the paragraph node. Now there are three types of node, child node, parent node, and sibling node. Now in this DOM, any node that is a direct descendant of some other node is a child node. So if we look at this tree structure, we can see that getting started node is a direct descendant of the title node. So this is a child node. Similarly, title node is a direct descendant of the head node. So this title node is a child node of the head node. And that brings us to the parent node. So any node that has child node is the parent node of that child node. So the head node is the parent node of the title node. And similarly, the title node is the parent of the getting started text node. And we have the third type, which is 
the sibling nodes. That is, if two nodes share the same parent node, then they are the sibling nodes. And if you look at this DOM tree, we can see that the body node and the head node, they both share the same parent node HTML. So the body node and the head node, they are sibling nodes because they both share the same parent. So we have child node, parent node and sibling node. All right guys, so let's go ahead and write some code. So in the previous video, we already created jQuery-project folder. And inside the jQuery-project folder, we created the JS folder, which contains jQuery.main.js file. Now I have created a new file inside the jQuery-project folder. And I have named it getting-started.html. And I have written the following code. And now, if we go ahead and open this file in Chrome, we'll get the following output, which is nothing. And we'll also open the DevTools. So we'll go to View, Developer, and we'll select the DevTools. And we'll switch to the Console tab. Now inside the JS folder, we'll go ahead and create a new file, and we'll save this as app.js and we'll include this file inside the body. So we'll use the script tag and we'll set the src to js slash app.js and now if we go back to Chrome and reload, we get no error. And if we check the sources tab, we can see that we are also including the app.js file from the JS folder. Now please note, if we are using jQuery in our project, then the dollar sign, that is this one, and jQuery points at the jQuery library. So currently we are not using jQuery in this page. So if we go to this app.js file and if we console.log dollar and if we console.log jQuery, we'll get some error. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get the error dollar is not defined. And if we comment this out, save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get another error, jQuery is not defined. Now we are getting this error because dollar or jQuery is not defined in this file. And we can remove this error by creating a variable, let's say var dollar and then save the file, go back to Chrome, and now if we reload, we don't get any error. Similarly, if we create a variable jQuery, and we uncomment this line, save the file, go back to Chrome, and reload, we don't get any error. Now please note, if we include jQuery in our HTML file, that is if we create a script tag and we set the src to js slash jQuery dot min dot js, we are now including jQuery in our page. And it is important that we include jQuery before we write any code using jQuery. So now we have included jQuery and the moment we have included jQuery in our page, these two symbols, this dollar sign and this word jQuery, they now have a special meaning and we cannot use them as variables. And I'll comment this out. 
and now if we uncomment this line console.log dollar and if we comment the second line console.log jQuery and now if we save the file go back to Chrome and reload we get a function and we can check that by simply writing type of dollar and if you reload it's of type function so as soon as we include jQuery in our page this dollar sign is now representing jQuery and its type function similarly if we comment this line and uncomment the last line save the file go back to Chrome clear the console and reload we again get the same function and we can also check the type by writing type of and then writing J capital Q so jQuery and save the file go back to Chrome and reload we get the same function and we also get type of function so as soon as we include jQuery in our file the dollar sign and the word jQuery points at jQuery so it represents jQuery and we cannot use these two this dollar sign and this jQuery word in our code in a different context so this is an important point that you need to keep in mind when you are using jQuery in your project alright guys let us go ahead and print hello world using jQuery so I'll go ahead and comment this two line and let's say we want to write hello world within the opening and closing h1 tag and to keep things simple we are going to target the body and then we are going to append this h1 element inside the body so to target the body we'll use jQuery dollar sign and within this double quotes you can also use single quotes we'll write body so by writing this simple dollar sign and within the opening and closing bracket and within the double quotes body we have targeted the body of the HTML page and now we are going to append hello world to the body so for that jQuery provides us with the append method so we'll write dot append now we want to append opening and closing h1 tag and the text hello world so we can either use single quotes or double quotes so let's use double quotes and inside this we'll have the opening h1 tag and the closing h1 tag and of course semicolon and we want the text hello world so in between the opening and closing h1 tag we'll write hello world so using this single line we are saying that we want to target the body and we want to append this new HTML element having h1 opening and closing tag and the text hello world so we are trying to append this new element to the body so if we save the file go back to Chrome and reload we get hello world we can also append some new text or any new message so we'll copy this maybe we can write let's say hello Yusuf you can write your name so if we save the file go back to Chrome and reload we get hello world and hello Yusuf all right one last thing before we wrap up when should we run our jQuery code well it is important that we run our jQuery only after the DOM tree is ready that is when we get the HTML page in our browser the browser starts to construct the DOM tree and when the tree is ready a ready event is fired and jQuery provides a ready method to capture that event so 
we target the HTML document using dollar with an opening closing bracket document. And we listen to the ready event using the ready method. And inside this, we pass a function. Now any code inside this function gets executed only after the DOM is ready. So for example, inside this function, we can copy paste this line and it will give us the same result, hello world within h1 tag. And this time it will give this result only after the document has completed loading. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get hello world. Now this is very common. So jQuery provides a shorthand notation. So let us comment this. And the shorthand notation is dollar function. And we can copy this code and paste it inside this function. So now this code will get executed only after the DOM is ready. That is the document is ready. So if we save the file and let me add some exclamation mark. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get the new output, hello world. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. All the important links will be in the video description. So please check that out. And guys, if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and please subscribe my channel. And don't forget to click that bell icon so that you will get an update whenever I upload a new video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.